guys, it's another blisteringly hot one um, today. And I think me and Sarah are going to go out today. Um, I don't know where we're going to go yet, we haven't really decided, but we're just going to have like a sort of chilled day. Um, so there's going to be no cameras, but there's still a few things I want to vlog, I think, today, like later on, maybe. So I'm going to start the vlog anyway, and then sort of see where it goes. I think I've only actually managed to do like three vlogs in a row before, so like I'm going to try and smash that. Um, <laughs> Once I start with vlogs, it's kind of I get on a roll and then it's easy. Once you stop, then it's it's just like almost you just got to start again from, from scratch. And there's less kind of like, I don't know, there's less motivation to sort of do another one when you stop. But anyway, let's see how it goes. I'm going to get washed and dressed. Oh yeah, by the way, I've still got this on for my stuff if you didn't notice. But um, I'm not a scumbag, honest. I just haven't had a wash yet. So maybe I am a scumbag. Anyway. <laughs> down it's got this in the post box don't even know what that is oh it's washers for the skateboard that's what it is yeah i wonder what it is because there's like no, feels like there's nothing in there at all big shout out to uh, phil from stoked longboards um who hooked me up with the wheels uh, the new wheels that i got and um he also just stuck in some washers in the post there's a separate um separate delivery if you want any longboard parts especially like abec 11 wheels um, I'd say probably the best place to get them in the UK is Stokes Longboards. Um, we're going off to Chelmsford now, so I'm not going to vlog that, but um, we'll catch you when I come back. I haven't gone to Chelmsford yet, guys. Just waiting for Sarah to do a video. Uh, she's doing a quick one before we go. Um, yeah, that thing I was talking about that I was waiting for. The seller just seemed a little bit cagey about giving a tracking number, but he's finally giving me a tracking number now. Yeah, it looks like it's actually on its way. I'm sure everyone else feels my pain when it comes to things that you, you're expecting to come at a certain time, and especially like if you're waiting in for something. Unfortunately, I don't really have to kind of wait in for something to get delivered, because I've got the office and I can use that as an address to get stuff sent to, which is what where my main mailbox is. Um, and also, you know, I rarely get stuff sent to the house these days. But what this thing is, um, it's called a VESC. This isn't the exact one that I'm actually getting. So it's basically like a motor speed controller, but for the skateboard. And um, because the skateboard speed controller, you know, that comes with it is actually, I think it's like a radio controlled car one. So, um, you know, it's not perfect for the job, but it does work. The only problem is the main reason for getting this VESC is the brakes on this skateboard at the moment are just crazy like it's literally on or off there's no like um progressive braking or you can't like feather the brake to actually go down a hill it's literally on or off and because of that i think it puts so much pressure on the belt that the back wheels just going and just you know whenever you're coming up behind someone and um you do the brakes they kind of look around and go what the hell because it makes such a sort of loud cogging noise it's a pretty complicated bit of kit and it's it's like an open source speed controller so there's a heck of a lot of information online about it. It looks fairly straightforward to set up. I've done quite a bit of reading, just you know, trying to get to the crux of the basic setup. So hopefully I'll just be able to set you know the basic settings and then go from there. It's all programmed by USB and you can plug in the computer. There's even like a Mac version of the software, so I'm gonna be gonna be fine with that. So it looks like um, that's gonna turn up tomorrow. So I can put it in tomorrow, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't take too long, and then we can test it out. Have you finished your video? Yeah. A bit of a funny head. I can't swallow them anymore. I just have to crunch them now. I promised I wasn't going to vlog, guys, but I'm in Primark and it's pretty boring. But I found one of these. Now, I picked one of these up before, but it was in like part of a kit with like everything. And they're really, really good because it's like 4,000 milliamp hours and it's actually like it's only like eight pounds. But I've tested them out and I've used them for loads of different things. And I'm just going to grab another one because I'm worried that they're going to discontinue them. And they're actually like probably one of the best little power packs I've found. So guys, if you're in Primark, you get dragged in Primark by the missus, you know what to do. So just come back from Chelmsford, um, had a good good afternoon out actually, it's pretty cool. So hot out there, I just can't believe how hot it is. It feels like we're in Spain or something when we're walking around like the high street. Uh, I've got a couple of little bits. Just got another backpack, much to Sarah's dismay, um, but I needed like a small one. Um, got that little charger thing which I showed you. Oh, so good. I'm sure I've got something else on the clothes wise. I also got a little bit carried away with some electrical stuff. Got a new Dyson handled Hoover and I couldn't resist getting one of these as well. It wasn't completely unplanned because we were, we were saying we wanted a new handheld anyway. And I've had my eye on one of these for quite a while because it's actually like a hot and cold fan. 
So obviously at the moment it's really hot, so we can use the fan side, but our back room gets so cold that I thought that this would actually be really good because in the winter we can use it, um, you know, to try and heat that up. And they're supposed to be brilliant. So this is what happens when I go shopping. It's a good job I don't go shopping very often. Set this bad boy up. It's ready to go. Look at this remote. So it's working. It's really good actually. It's not actually very loud. It's probably quieter than any other fan that would be that sort of size. So you can basically set it between hot and cold and um, you know you can control left and right and it's got, it's got this setting on here where you can kind of like focus the those like the wind beam or whatever. Yeah, it works really well. When I first turned it on it was on the hot setting and it's like ridiculous. It's It felt so hot. I think it should easily heat up a room. So I just got the handled out. This thing's a tool. Oh, it's picked up already and I've actually done a hoover already Sarah doesn't believe me but I've already done a hoover when did I do a hoover a few days ago right. I suppose it's nearly a week but they shouldn't get that much it's crazy it's a little ball of fluff in there but it uses just the suction from the from the hoover which is battery powered just to like turn this thing so like the suction power is so great that it can spin that round fast enough as well like with this length of this tube pretty amazing so this is how to make hoovering fun. <laughs> Little late night office swing by. I need some tools. The Dyson's got this really cool wall bracket. So I haven't got any tools at home because they're all down here. So I'm going to grab these and then I can, uh, I can put it on the wall. It's one of those blimmin' moments when you can't find what you're looking for. Ah, this is what I could be looking for. An unopened packet as well. That should be perfect. Ah! So I just got this crazy splinter from the floor. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. This is where it was. I just got it out really quick and it's just bleeding now. God, I don't know if you can see this. I'm literally perspiring. It is so hot in here. New backpack's coming in handy already. I did it guys, fourth vlog in a row. How about that? Although, it's not strictly true, I haven't completely done it because I haven't edited it yet, which is, which is the other thing. What I've been doing is getting up early and then just editing the vlog, just getting that out of the way so I've got the rest of the day to do the things I normally do and also do the vlog as well, so. Cool, this is some super weird lighting. That's better. That's really strange. This camera seems to be struggling to focus, like on close objects. Like when I was putting the bracket on the wall, it was like, I just couldn't get it to focus. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to sign out now. Um, the fan is making everything nice and cool downstairs. I'm going to go back down after this little one's done her toilet and chill out, I think. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Oh yeah, I was going to say, um, new subscribers if you're watching this, because there's been a lot of different videos. I've done a lot of different subjects of different videos. So like, if you're watching this and you've sort of come here from, I don't know, e-bikes or maybe like the drone or you know, any other things that I'm doing, because I'm doing so many different things, bear with me, because I will be doing lots more on those subjects, but it's difficult because I didn't want to create loads of different channels for different subjects, because it's hard, well, it's hard to get one channel sort of going, really, to be honest. So hopefully everything's relevant, like if it's not, but actually it'd be useful to know in the comments as well. Hopefully you're enjoying it anyway. I am, so <laughs> I, suppose that's, um, I suppose that's the most important thing for it to come across. Anyway, um, I'm going to sign out now, and I will catch you tomorrow.